Hey guys, it's Mel here with Tech From My Perspective and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the LG G3. Now here you can see the LG G3 itself in its full glory in the gold colour and it's a pretty good phone, it's one of the best phones of the year and let's just quickly get into this. So right at the back you have your uh, power up button right here rather than on side which it follows the LG G2 design, your camera, um, a sensor, uh, dual uh, flash for different tones and your LG logo with the volume up and volume down button and it's quite a slick design because then it allows the size to be really small and just clean because then if you want to turn it on then you can just have your phone one-handed phone and just press like this and it happens easy as that or there are other ways to also turn on the screen here you have your speaker so let's just turn to the bottom your micro USB uh, jack I believe this isn't uh, USB 3.0 which is a shame headphone jack and at the side you are able to actually take off the case which is pretty good for something that's made out of aluminium uh, here you have the front and there's your LG logo at the bottom quite a nice bezel just a nice finish your QHD screen so it's actually quad HD pretty good and your front make uh, facing camera and your front speaker for calls so I'm just going to show you one way to turn it on and I'm just trying to sideways so the whole phone fits on the uh, camera so you can do this tap tap and it turns on and then you can actually just use your code and I'm show you this because it's not my phone oops uh, just accidentally lost that so one like you do a square but it's not working let's do it like this then one two three four oops double tap one two three four and there you go you are actually into the thing unfortunately this does not rotate sideways which would have been good unless I turn the rotation on it doesn't the iPhone 6 plus does rotate sideways like an iPad would which is pretty good utilizing that big screen however this phone doesn't uh, I'm just gonna quickly get into a game which and the game I've chosen for this is swing copters you'll see it runs without problems and let's go so I'll be doing this um, I can't see most of the screen so I'll probably die really early high scores 46 this is the new flappy bird I died but you can see it's running without any problems and there you go but one thing you're about to see is sluggishness from LG's uh, theme so I would just press the multitasking button and here you see it took quite a long time and it was very sluggish which is not good and let's just close this and you might see it not responsive and there you go so let's just go on to the actual drawer you'll see it won't load straight away there you go it took some time and it was a bit sluggish so although it does look like stock android basically with its um, app drawer icon with a few custom icons it's still heavily themed and that's why it slows down and that is a real shame in terms of being able to uh, utilize the Snapdragon 801 processor in this phone or it's 805 uh, we're just going to go to the Play Store quickly and meanwhile I'd like to thank Vodafone for sending this out to me for review as it wouldn't be possible without them uh, because they send me uh, phones for review it's pretty cool uh, I reckon that they're the best carrier in the whole of the UK better than EE because with EE I don't find any signal Vodafone I always find signal so for example let's just say I was outside I'd have a one bar connection with EE if I check my Vodafone phone then I'd have about three bars but with 4G as well whereas I'd only have H that barely works on EE so I forgot to install Antutu benchmark so you're actually going to sit through this benchmark let's do this test um, 
So it says, excellent, how can you be so good? It recognized it as an LG G3. And let's go, so test. Actually, we can look at other information. You can see in the ranking list, uh, the HTC One M8 is at the top, and nowhere to be seen is the LG G3. I don't know why it's not here. Some information about LG G3 right here. 4.4.2, Snapdragon 801, it's quad HD screen, 13 megapixel camera, uh, the front camera is I believe 2 megapixel, it's 2.1, uh, records at 4K, the back camera, uh, and it has an aperture of 2.0, I believe the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus have 2.2. Uh, in terms of aperture. Let's just quickly go into the benchmark and here we go. It shouldn't take too long over N22 benchmarks take quite a long time. So we are back and here you can see that N22 benchmark is done and it's scored at 33,181 making it one of the, not one of the best actually because there are some devices in front like the Sony Xperia Z2, the Xiaomi Mi3, I think that's how you pronounce it, Vivo X-Play 3S, never heard of it before, Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy S5, the Xiaomi uh, Mi3W and the HTC One M8, which uh, I would say is not that great because look how behind it is from the Mi3 and I feel that's purely due to the actual theme. And if the Z2 is here, imagine how much the Z3 would blow all of this out of the water with the Galaxy Note 4 as well on the Exynos processor that's coming up because it's just over the Redmi Note which is a very cheap tablet. So here you go, I'm not sure, we'll go into details and there you go, it says CPU good, supports large apps and multitasking, RAM excellent, 2D graphics excellent, 3D graphics excellent, fluently support large mobile games. If the theme was better then it probably could have done better. Um, so we're just going to exit this and you can see that it lagged right there and that's not good and there you go another bit of sluggishness so LG really need to improve on this. I think this actually slowed down from the LG T2 in terms of just sluggishness and smoothness and that's not good at all because you don't want a sluggish phone in and nowadays when you look at um, flagship devices they shouldn't be this slow like that uh, so that's my only recommendation for this phone otherwise I like it. it's a pretty good phone the camera is alright not the greatest um, because it just needs some improvements and if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a comment below like the video subscribe and this is Mimel here with Tape from the Perspective reviewing the LG G3 and I'm out peace